Operating a charitable home, how exactly have you managed to stay afloat? <laughs> I told you when we started that I end up taking loans. You have? Yes. Because I have, I have no way to go. If I wanted to uh, try find the government and help me, mm -hmm. and when I watch, watch the news, I see they are asking who people, if people can donate. Uh, so then uh, where am I going to get anything there? Then now it's forcing me to measure doing some business mm -hmm. to feed the, 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 the offer. And then some of the projects that you have also engaged in to at least yes. try and get some more funds? Yeah, like now uh, school is, is people are paying. Those who are there are paying their school fee. Mm -hmm. And this man is helping me enough to support these children. Mm -hmm. Though we were affected because nobody is having money to pay school fee. Mm -hmm. So we, we, went, <laughs> we, we went out of uh, food, mm -hmm. but uh, actually we got. Again, OSPOL, now we have the NHIF. Mm -hmm. The OSPOL is accredited. Mm -hmm. And now when we treat people, the NHIF will pay us whatever little we are going to get. Mm -hmm. And all this money will actually help me on doing management to support, to continue supporting the orphans. Mm -hmm. But if I could not be in a position to have an hospital and school, the life could be very expensive to me. I think I could, I already, I could already close the home. Because mm -hmm. where will I take the kids? Where, how, you cannot have them dying with them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not easy.